afternoon everybody i literally just pulled away from work it is thursday april 21st 2022 and bentley got a haircut last night you like your hair george cut his hair all by himself and i was so impressed because it looks like he got it done somewhere He's, he's, he's coming down after a long day at school. He had a really, really good day. I was watching him from another classroom. I could see him outside. And he was running around with his teacher, playing tag. Both of his teachers were playing tag. They were running races. So he got a ton of exercise today. He ate all his lunch. He took a long nap. He has had an amazing day. So right now I am headed to my mom's. She asked if, well, Bentley wanted to see her this morning. I told him if he did a good job at school, he can go over there. And then she said that he can go ahead and spend the night. So I'm going to drop him off over there. And then I'm going to, I got to get gas. And then I'm going to head home. Because I think George and I are going to have like a little date night. Since we got a kid free night. Why not, you know? Might as well take advantage of it. Because we don't get it often where we're both off work. And we're kid free. And George just so happened to be off work tonight. Because, um... I don't know if I mentioned this in any of my videos. I feel like I might have. But um, he's a tow truck driver. So one of the trucks was like down today. So he didn't work. So he's off work. I'm obviously off work now. He usually doesn't get off until like 7, 8, or 9. So it works out because he's off today already. I just got off. I'm going to drop him off. And then we're kid free. So it's perfect. I'm excited to get some grown up time with him. So I don't know what we're, we're going to do yet. I kind of wanted to go out to dinner like dress up get a nice dinner maybe we'll go out i don't know but i'm excited i'm really really excited because i don't get to do it often it's really important i just put my ring on i i wore it like on the drive to work but i took it off before i went in because you know i work in childcare and i didn't think that'd be the best idea so i took it off put it in the car as soon as i got back in the car i put it on i'm still so so in love. you can see it right now in the sun because the video i posted before was under my stove light and i posted one in my bedroom with the flash on but now you can see it in natural light i've been feeling down the cold nights just don't feel the same oh Like I 
things that change my habits just in general like I make sure I do laundry every day before work and like sometimes I would do that like if I had time but now it's like every day before work I do some laundry the dishes like clean up the house a little bit nothing crazy like I've done it in some of my vlogs like I'll just like you know like switch the laundry and load the dishwasher or empty the dishwasher or wash a few dishes just something like it's just I've been starting my day being very productive I have been using my planner a lot which I've always loved planners but I always get I feel like a lot of people can relate to this I always get one love it for a week maybe two then I start like forgetting to put stuff down and then I stop using it and then I lose it and then it's just <laughs> like I probably went through like four planners last year so like I've been consistent with my planner and like keeping up with stuff um like I said, I'm not, I'm not, I haven't told anyone, well, except George, yet what I have in store right now, but, because I don't want to jinx it, so I haven't said it to anybody except George, but everyone knows George is my best friend, I tell him everything, plus, whatever I do affects him, of course, so, but I'm doing something that I have always wanted to do, it's big, it's definitely a career move, and if all goes well, which I really, really honestly do in my heart believe it will go well, I, I can definitely quit my job. Which, don't get me wrong, I love my job. But this new thing I'm working on, not going to say it, <laughs> I will be able to work for myself and no one else. And that's, I feel like, is something that everybody wants. Well, not everybody wants, but I feel like every everybody could benefit from I think in my opinion like making your own hours and all that like I just really think that's something you know we could all benefit from like that's so so convenient but my goal is to have this idea that I'm not saying <laughs> launch and ready by the time Bentley starts kindergarten so which is next August it's currently April 22 I'm trust again April 2022 and I want this plan to be full of in full, I don't know what's going on with me, y'all. In full effect by August 2023. So I have almost a year and a half, a little less, and it's already going so well. So I'm just really proud of myself. Re really pushing myself and buckling down. Like, I am truly proud of myself, and I can't remember the last time I could confidently say that. Like, I feel like before this, I was just kind of like, I was like, okay, like, I'm surviving. But at least take care of I'm good. That's all that matters. But now I'm doing more stuff for myself, holding myself accountable, pushing myself. And I'm just really proud of myself because I've made a lot of progress. Sorry, I had to move the phone. I know that's weird, but whatever. But yes, I'm really, really proud of myself. I can't wait to share with you guys what it is. I'm going to wait until, like I said, all my ducks are in a row and everything because I don't want to drink sex. It's really important to me. And I don't want the pressure of, like, other people knowing and expecting it to happen. If it doesn't work out, I let them down, you know? So, keeping it close to the chest. But it's coming. I'm so excited. I will share it with everybody as soon as it becomes a reality for me, which I know it will. Like, I have complete faith in myself that it will become a reality before I know it. And I have the drive. I have the motivation. I have the support from George. Like, I just, this is going to work out for me, and I know it. But anyway, I went on a whole tangent there. But anyways, I'm just really, really proud of myself because I feel like my head is so much more clear. I don't know how to describe it. Like, I feel like everything is so much lighter now. I went through, I briefly mentioned this. I think, I think it's my first video since I started back on YouTube. I went through something hard. I, I don't want to get into the details, but I went through something really hard. In November, I went through something really hard, and in November, and then in December, the issue I thought was taken care of, and it wasn't, and it, it, <laughs> it ended up, I'm trying not to cry, it ended up in emergency surgery, and I lost three pints of blood, I had a good blood, blood transfusion, emergency surgery, I was on uh, morphine, which I had a severe reaction to. It was just a whole mess. Like, it was a lot. It was... I'm trying to cry. It was very, very, very traumatic. And ever since then, 
I just feel like my mind has just been really heavy and I didn't I didn't have much support either for friends or family um it, it, it was just a really hard time for me. like it, it was just really hard but I'm not gonna cry because that's, that's we're not doing that we're not crying anyways with that being said I went through a really hard time and ever since then it's, just, it's been weighing on me heavily of course it has and I just feel like since then until now I've been slowly rebuilding myself and I feel like now <laughs> I'm gonna cry again I feel like now I'm higher than ever like I'm higher than I ever have in the past probably like year year and a half so I'm just really proud of that because whew, time to cry I went through something really hard and I really picked up the pieces and pulled myself together and like now I'm it's like I'm back in a better like and I truly mean that like my head is clear I'm doing so much better mentally physically like some days are hard I'm not gonna lie I'm very extremely hard but I have become such a better person I've been more productive I've you know like I said like I'm working on something huge for myself huge for me huge for my family a career like it's huge and like I just like I'm really out here doing the damn thing like and I'm just so so proud of myself so anyways I was just thinking it's like been so long but I just I had to get it out because I'm really really proud of myself like I feel so much happier in general like just in general like I think me being more productive excuse me more productive working on my goals stuff like that like really focusing on my family and stuff like that it's just really helped me just be so much happier because life is good for me right now and I deserve that I deserve that after what I went through and I know that it's just such a good feeling because I'm just so happy right now and like I at first I was like oh yeah I'm gonna be happy now and then something's gonna happen I'll be upset and like nothing like stuff stuff has happened but I don't let it I don't let it rock me at all like I'm just I'm on the highways and they're doing construction so it's like super bumpy um like stuff hits me oh my god <laughs> ah! stuff hits me and I just I keep going like and I'm like I said, like, accepting stuff and, like, just not letting stuff bother me and just, like, really focus on my happiness. I'm just really, really proud of myself. I've come very far. I'm, like I said, I'm so much more productive now. So freaking proud of myself. And I don't say that often at all. Like, literally ever. So, thanks for coming to my TED Talk. I know that's, like, the longest thing. That's the most I've ever talked in a video. Like, all in one. But like I said, I think it's good to do that once in a while. Like, just let you know what's on my mind. And I think it's important because it's about my progress in my life. And I don't, I think if you do that, it deserves to be celebrated. It's a small victory that should be celebrated. Like, truly, and I really do think that. Like, you did the laundry today. That's great. Like, and I just, I just feel like me pulling myself together is such a huge thing. And it deserves to be talked about. It deserves to be celebrated. Like, I'm just very proud of myself. And I've been consistent with it. And I feel amazing. Like, truly and honestly. And, like, I know it's, like, putting my whole, all my business out there. But whatever. Y'all know my life. I was on heavy antidepressants and anxiety medicine. medicine. Um, when I first started YouTube... Well, I have been for years, but like when I was when I first started YouTube is when I was like on it heavily and I felt amazing because I was on such a heavy drug, it made me feel good. But if I didn't take it, I felt horrible. George and I have talked about this. Like it's amazing the difference that the medicine caused. Like if I was on it, I was super happy. Like I felt good mentally. And when I was off of it, I felt super down. And I told George, like, isn't it sad that I have to be like doped up on medicine to even be happy, to even function? And now, I did take my medicine briefly, like a month ago. That was consistent, but it makes me feel really sick, so I kind of, it makes me sick and tired, so I'll accidentally miss a pill, and I'll just get off of it, and I just, whatever. But, I am proud of myself, because I've made this progress without my medicine. 
which I'm all for in an impressive anxiety medicine. Even my anxiety medicine it doesn't make me sick, so I might start taking that to kind of help me. But I'm just proud of myself because I used to be, I used to have to be, I cannot talk today, so doped up on medicine to be happy. And that's just, and I, and I know, I know people in my life have to be like that. But I really do think that mentally I'm in a better place, so I don't need that. I'm hoping it stays that way because I don't want to be on medicine, but I don't have to be. But point being, I feel as happy as I was when I was doped up on that medicine, but I'm not now. I'm not on any medicine at all. And I'm just as happy. And that, that right there shows my progress. Like, that's just really amazing to me that how happy and productive and, you know, successful in general I am now is how I was when I had my medicine. Like, it's just crazy to think about. But I'm so thankful for it, and I'm so proud of myself. This is, like, the longest thing ever, so I'm going to keep driving. I'm maybe, like, 10 minutes from my house, 15. Um, I don't know what we're going to... Oh, my God. I give up. I don't know what we're doing tonight. I'm going to see if he wants to go out to dinner to our favorite restaurant. Maybe we'll just come back home and watch a movie. I think he'll probably be down knowing him, so we'll see what he wants to do. restaurants and then we went to Target because it's one of my students first birthday this excuse me this weekend this Sunday is her birthday but since tomorrow's Friday and obviously we don't have school on the weekend I want to go ahead and give her her gift tomorrow so I got stuff for her and I just got home George is going to go do a call for work like I said he's a tow truck driver so he's just going to do a call about 30 minutes away. Don't you see that I love you so much? 